Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna do some crafts tonight with bunches of buttons. Just gonna give it a couple of seconds, I'm not gonna say minutes, seconds, <laughs> for people to hop on and we're going to craft up some cute, cute stuff. So I'm just gonna wait. Hey, say hello when you get on. So I'll know you're here. Hey, Christine. Hey, Lori. Hey, Julie. Hey, Colin. Hey, Linda. Hey, Rochelle and Sylvia. Diane. Danica. Cause all my friends up in the house. Cute. Deronda. Leanne. <laughs> Hey Heather and Pamela and Graham and Kathy. Hey everybody, I'm so glad y'all are here on a Friday night and Bobby and <clears throat> so we're gonna do some stuff with some buttons tonight. Oh Sharice, I do too. Y'all wanna see my scissors first? Look at my gigantuous scissors. They turned out so cool. If y'all show it's all uh hey Kaylee, uh um thank y'all for sprinkling. I got uh, painted these. I posted a picture before. They were just wood brown, and I needed to do something with them. So I was I had started painting on just the turquoise color, and had all of it one coated. And then I looked at the comments, "Hey guys," and <clears throat> I, I had all of it turquoise. And then I saw where somebody said, "Hey, paint the the blade silver." So I was like, "Oh gosh, I need to do that." So I went back and I taped it off, which they have a groove here, and I had to tape it off where I could paint the handles blue, and then I had to paint these um, silver, and of course the little dot there, I had to paint that blue, or turquoise, or whatever you want to say, and so um, I dooted up my scissors, I was trying to <laughs> put it on my eyes, but anyway, so I just love these, I'm going to hang on somewhere up there, but yeah, I was going to show these to y'all tonight, so you could see. And there they are. But now I want to, I want some. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Grant. Hey, Becky. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight, guys, is, well, first of all, I'll show y'all. These are my containers of buttons. This is, um, these are from the Dollar Tree. This this thing, it was, they come in these little round, I should have got one out, a little round container with a screw lid at the Dollar Tree. And it's all these colored buttons. And this is three of those containers in here. So that's a lot, if y'all can see. That's a whole lot of buttons. <clears throat> Happy Friday, Susan. Hey, Kathy. Um, and then these are just buttons that I've had over the years, whether I've bought them at garage sales or whether I've bought them containers, you know, at craft stores or just whenever I see them and pick them up. Um, I have these in little jars in my craft room because there's something about uh, buttons in jars that just makes my heart go pitter-patter. <clears throat> and so I just love jars and buttons and I have them up on a shelf and then when I need them I'll just pull them out and do whatever but then they sit up on a shelf and they're just like little decor in my room so I just something about seeing that in a jar just think I just think it's absolutely cute and it's just a little color <clears throat> sprinkling to all of my button loving friends thank you Myra our DT does. Well, I, I, Kathy, I see them every once in a while in these little containers, and usually they're up by the cash registers where I've seen them. So um, I don't always see them either. Sometimes they'll have containers of all different black buttons, and then I've seen the colored buttons. And last, I don't know, last time I was there, and I just grabbed three containers, and then I just put them in here. So that's, a, I mean, that's a lot of buttons for three dollars. Because buttons aren't cheap. If y'all price buttons, um, you know, some of the fancier ones like these, they aren't. They aren't cheap, and the big buttons, but I have these. I have a little sack of Christmas buttons, too, and I have them all separated because I want to keep the Christmas ones separate. <clears throat> so when I have Christmas stuff, I don't have to dig for red and green. Yes, Lori, I am. I'm going to do a video. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll do it this weekend. If I just get everything picked up and neat. It's not bad right now, but <laughs> it's just stuff laying everywhere. But um, I'll do a video and show y'all all my crap, my crap room. Um Hey, Lori. Um, anyhow, so I'm going to start. We're going to make some cool little flowers with these buttons. 
Um, so what I have that I'm going to start with is, is floral wire, okay? I have the green floral wire. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it is in here somewhere because I just used it not too long ago. And I put it somewhere and I tore up my craft room looking for it. And I was like, I'm not even going to worry about it. But you can use the green uh, floral wire if you have some. You can use any wire, actually. You can use pipe cleaners. Just whatever you have on hand. It doesn't matter. So don't think you got to have exactly what I have. I have these floral wire stems from Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99 a pack and then they go on sale whenever. But I've, you know, I've already used them for other things. I make little uh, fairy dolls out of them. As a matter of fact, I'll show y'all fairy doll if you'll hold on just a second. <clears throat> Let's see. I gotta get them off the shelf. I'm coming back. Here I am. Okay. So let me show you these little fairy dolls that I make with these little, that's a whole nother, <laughs> this will be a whole nother tutorial. But see these little fairy dolls? They're made with these floral stem wire things, okay? Aren't they cute? They're just sitting down in the spools. You see they have little legs and it's real tedious, but I just think they're precious and they sit over here on a little shelf. But that's what I had the um, actual wire for was these. And they're actual, that's flowers from the Dollar Tree and then that's the cross stitch thread for their hair. So that's what I had this wire for because I saw a lady on YouTube make them and I was like, I want to make some of those because I think they're just precious. So there's the little girls. Yes, Hobby Lobby is open in Olive Branch today. So Lori, are you from here? Because that's, that's by me. And I didn't go today. I was planning on it and I didn't go. Um, so I take one of these floral wires and this floral wire is white and it's actually uh, covered. It doesn't say, but I think it's like covered with um, uh, fabric. It's white. I don't know if y'all can see that. So it's a different kind of floral wire, but you can use the green, you can use pipe cleaners, you can use whatever you have, just use that, okay? I just used this because I couldn't find my green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all, I gotta get my baby wipes over here by me, my little cart. We're gonna use a baby wipe, or you can do this however you wanna do it, but I'm gonna show you the easy way that I found, because we're gonna make these green like this, okay? So I just take some regular craft paint, Just this is just folk art, green <laughs> that's all it says is green and um <clears throat> whatever color you want to do and i'm going to actually hey billy hey frida and i'm just going to put a little blob right here on my baby wipe okay i'm just going to kind of smoosh it around and make a little thing okay and yes my hands are going to be green after this because i did it earlier <clears throat> Oh, okay, Lori. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta meet you. Okay, so here we go. So here is the, my floral wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, cause it's got cloth on the outside of it. So I'm just gonna take it and I want it to be green. So I had to find a way to make it green. So I'm just basically gonna run my fingers, run it through my baby wipe with the paint on it. So I'm kind of putting on paint, taking off paint at the same time, like that like that and get the whole thing kind of green but I'm, I'm turning it green but I'm you know taking off the paint at the same time okay so now I'm going to wipe it again just to get some of the excess off so see now it's green but like I said if you um oh yes Lori I, I remember now yes 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 I do remember sorry <laughs> um it didn't hit me at first okay so anyway so <clears throat> then I'm gonna take another one I'm gonna do the same thing okay there I still got paint on my baby wipe and I am just going to do the same thing I'm just gonna kind of go up and down and get it all green but like I said if you use the green floral wire you should you know you won't have to do this I just didn't want them to be white and I had to figure out a way not for them to be white so here they are they're not white okay so now they're green so I've already done a couple earlier today so I could have some that were kind of dry but they dry fast so don't you know don't worry about that now I've got green paint <laughs> I can't do anything and not be messy I promise I get it everywhere all right thank you Joanne for sprinkling okay let me get all this off my fingers baby wipes are the best I keep them in here I wipe my hands with them it takes the paint right off I don't have to get up and run to the sink because <clears throat> I don't have a sink in here okay so that's what I did 
All right, so we're gonna do a couple of different flowers, okay? Maybe three, maybe. Okay, so the first flower we're gonna do is kind of easy, and I'm probably gonna freak y'all out, but I'm going to pour all of this goodness out here on my table. Because I want to be able to look at everything and pick my colors and all that stuff. Look at that big one. <laughs> these are all from the Dollar Tree. So you can kind of see if you can find these. This is great to have in your craft room for a dollar. This was three dollars. This whole pile was three dollars right here. Three packs of buttons. So you get a lot of buttons. I mean, there's big ones. There's that. <laughs> um, all different colors. Look, that one even has a flower on it. I don't know if you can see that. But you get a lot of buttons for $3 or, or $4. You get a lot. And it's a whole bunch of different colors. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is I'm going to find, I'm going to start with a tiny button, just a little one. So it's going to be on the top. So I'm just going to pick one. This is a little bitty pink one. And I'm going to put my floral wire through the hole like that. And then I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to put it through and I'll show y'all. You know how you got four holes? Most buttons have four holes, some of them have two, but they have the four holes. I'm gonna put it corner to corner instead of side to side. I'm gonna put it corner to corner so it'll be centered on the wire, okay? So I'm using the wire that I used, that I painted earlier. <laughs> you saw them today and almost bought them. And now you're like, dang it, I wanna go back. So the reason I, one reason I painted green is because I want that little where it's looped over on the button. I don't know if y'all can see that because my light. But see how it's diagonal? It's corner to corner instead of side to side. So, okay, so that's that's what I did. But I wanted that to be green too. And then also the stems to be green. And we are going to, I'm going to take, I got the little button. And then I'm going to just pick, another, they like the next size up from that button. I'm going to go just a little bigger. Not that big. I just got to find one that I like. And of course, and you could do all pink or you could do all colors. I'm going to go random colors. So I'm going to do a blue one next. But you could absolutely, hey Carol, you could absolutely uh, do all one color tone, like all white or all pink and do the exact same thing, okay? But I'm going to be a, block, a colorful. So there's my, see I got the blue on there now. Let me push it all the way up. Like that, okay? So that, <clears throat> and then, see, I'm gonna do a yellow. So I gotta, I'm gonna find a yellow one that's a little bigger. So I'm getting this size. And like I said, see the four holes? And I'm gonna go corner to corner. And that's the way the button doesn't sit one way or the other on the wire. It kind of centers the button. So I don't know if y'all can see how I did that. It's kind of hard to see, but I did it, um, you know, the holes this way instead of this way. Does that make sense? So I'm pushing it up. So now we have that, okay? Um, and guys, y'all can y'all can do this and do it with your kids. You could just, there's so many possibilities that you could do. Um, you could cut out little flower shapes out of like little colorful paper and put it behind all these buttons at the end and make a little petals. I got a purple one on there. Um, you could do felt, you could do all sorts of stuff that you can do. And your kids, if you have any little girls, they would probably love to do this. All right. And this would be just a really cute craft to do with kids. So there's my, my little, my little stack of buttons I got going. I'm going to put one more and find one that I like, but it's just something about looking through all this little pile of stuff that just. I don't know. I just like it. Kind of like looking through grandmother's old sewing chest or sewing something. Cat a corner. There you go, Joanne. Cat a corner. Okay. So see, now I've got this whole little stack of buttons, okay? And I'm just going to twist right here. But we're not done. We're going to make we're going to make different ones, okay? So there. I just twisted it underneath there so they're not going to come off, okay? So there's that. Um but you know, I kind of jumped ahead of myself and I need to actually paint what we're gonna put them in. So we're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna get to painting on our little uh, salt shaker, which I've already got one over here painted, but I kind of wanted to show you what I did. Um, let's see, how do I open these? These are salt shakers from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna give you some options if you don't, you know, you're not going to the Dollar Tree. Our state has opened up stuff. 
Yes, I have been to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> But, you know, if your state's not open and you just be safe and all that stuff, okay? So, I'm not encouraging you to go out and, you know, go free for all. But, um, like I said, our Hobby Lobby open today, but I didn't go. I was going to, but I didn't. So, another option you could do is if you have any medicine bottles, vitamin bottles, you could paint these and decorate them up really cute. And this is the same exact, same exact, uh, what am I trying to say? Same thing, you know, it's the same, it's a container and you can make it really, really cute. So don't, you know, don't throw your pill balls out. You can do stuff with them or you could use a flower pot. I have that in my craft room too. So you could, you could paint these up and then put all your little flowers in there. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm like skipping around because I totally got excited about the buttons and totally didn't, didn't paint my container. So this is a salt shaker from the Dollar Tree and we're going to paint it. Oh, I'm going to tell you something, a little tip too, while we're here. This little container, I don't know if y'all make the little rolls of cinnamon rolls in your house in the mornings and stuff. We have a bunch of boys, so uh, we make them all the time. And when they have company over or when they could have company over, we would make them cinnamon rolls. Well, the Pillsbury ones come with the little icing and they come in these little cups. Well, my whole family knows don't throw those away because... I'm going to use them and I'll, I'll mix paint in them. Like when I'm painting or something and I don't want to put it on my plate, I'll put paint in here and mix colors together and then I can just wash it out and I save them. i got a whole little basket over here full of them. So they don't get thrown away at my house. So um, we're going to use my favorite, Waverly All White Chalk Paint. Um, hey Peggy, we'll have to catch the replay. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. Maybe if you try to get out of the video and come back in, maybe it'll be okay. Thank you, Peggy, for sprinkling. Okay, so I just put a little hole in the top of my jar. I don't open the whole thing up unless I'm painting something big. And it's, it dries up and then it crackles everywhere on my plate. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit out here. But I'm not going to paint it white. Can y'all believe it? I'm going to paint it a color. Um, so I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to mix a little bit of paint with it. Thank you, Carol. Okay, so there's my white chalk paint on my white plate. Y'all can't see. So I'm going to just take some of this real pretty fuchsia. It's, a, it's Anita's. They sell this at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this paint. Their colors are fabulous. And it's one of the cheaper lines they have at Hobby Lobby. It's Anita's acrylic, and it's called fuchsia. So I'm going to mix a little bit, maybe a little more than a little bit, in with my white chalk paint. And i got to find something to stir with. Okay, I guess I'm going to stir with the end of my paintbrush. So I'm just going to mix it with my Waverly paint. Thank you, Karen. Hey, Pat. And I'm just going to um, get it a real pretty pink color. Because, you know, the white's going to lighten it up a little bit. And I just kind of swirl it all around, if y'all can see, and get it all mixed really good. It's going to be pretty. You know, you can add more and keep adding more till you get the actual color you want. But I'm going to go with that right there. I'm just going to take my paintbrush and wipe it with my baby wipe, and we're all good. Okay. Hello. Now my son's coming in here. Are you coming to get on the video, too? Or are you just going to come watch me? I'm just meandering. You're meandering? Okay. That's my oldest son. He's, he's here visiting. So I'm just going to paint this on my little salt shaker, and then we're going to set it to dry and make our flowers. I just totally forgot to, make, to paint this in the beginning. I was so excited about the buttons. Um, so I've already showed y'all one flower. Have y'all ever done anything like this? Have y'all ever... Um, thank you, Joanne. It is a pretty color. It turned out really pretty. So you can take that white top paint and you can basically make it any color you want to. So don't think you're just limited because you can put... Um, mix your acrylic paints in with it and make it a color. So you're not totally limited to what they have. You can make whatever color you want. So, so I'm getting it painted, or you could leave it glass. You could leave it just like it is. This is where it gets tricky. So have y'all made flower buttons before? Has anybody done that with their kids or their grandkids? Let's see if anybody's answering me. Y'all being quiet tonight. I just saw, this is Pinterest inspired, the buttons are. I've, I've seen a bunch of it on Pinterest and I just, I said, well, I got plenty of buttons, so I'm going to give it a whirl and try it. 
I'm getting this paint all over my hands. Turn and paint. That That's a really pretty pink color, though. I'm liking it. So hopefully the chalk paint's going to help it dry fast. So I'm just going to kind of go around just like that. And then I got to get it over here to dry. Move some stuff around. Never, but I have lots of buttons. Well, there you go. Now you got a craft to do with all your buttons. Turn on my little fan. I got paint again. What did you do at the end of the flower button to start it? Um, I, I doubled it. And we're going to do another one, so I'll show you. Hang on just a second. Let me get all my mess cleaned up. Get my paint out of the way before. Because I'll put my elbow in it. For sure. <laughs> okay. So let me wipe my hands off. Okay. So that's what we did. I just took my wire. And if y'all weren't didn't see before, these started out white. And they're just the like cloth covered cut color. I can't talk. Cloth covered floral wire. But if you have the green, that's fine. Because I couldn't find my green. I like tore up everything trying to find my green. Couldn't find it. So I just got this white that I had that I make these little y'all didn't see my little fairies. I make those with these this little floor, white floral wire. So I had this anyway. Oh, hey, Vicki, I'm glad you found me too. I'm glad you're here. Um, hey, Linda. And so I took this white floral wire. It's got like a cloth coating on it. And then I took green paint in a baby white. I took some green acrylic paint in baby white. And I put it in there and I just ran it through there and made my white wire green. So... Now we have green, but if you have the green already, it's fine. Find black brown buttons at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I just recently found the colored ones. But like I said, this whole pile right here, that's actually three containers full. So you get a lot um, of buttons. So, so I doubled up my wire, okay? And I'm going to find a little bitty button. We're gonna start, you start little and work up big, okay? So this is a little square purple one. I don't know if y'all can see. It's actually square. So I'm just going to poke that on there. And like I said before, I go, um, I go, uh, I can get it through there. It went through the other one. Why don't it want to go in there? It doesn't want to go in my hole. The holes are so little. Well, little purple guy is not going to work because my flat wire is too big. So let's find another one. Here's one. Okay. So... Most of the buttons here have four holes, okay? So I'm going from a corner hole to a corner hole instead of going across. And that way your button will sit center on your wire. And when you do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you do it the other way, it'll sit kind of lopsided. I'm going to go through that one either. So Y'all, i got to find me a button. All right, maybe this will work. The wire is just too big for these little holes. Yes, Diane, you can use regular floral wire, and that's what I was going to use, and um, I couldn't find mine, so I had to use that this cloth covered that I, um, I already had, because I make those little fairies with them, and I'm trying, I want purple, and I'm going to find a purple one. Um, so, yes, you can use the green, and that's what I was actually hunting, and... Can't find the purple. Um, I'm gonna use this little white one. It's got actual flowers already on it. It's actually a flower-shaped button. Never seen a flower made with a button. Well, I'm gonna show you a couple of variations. This is just one, and then we're gonna do whatever. Okay. So here is this one's actually flower-shaped. Can you see that? So I changed from the purple because I couldn't get it to go in the holes. Um, so I'm going to do another button. So you just go up. So I try to find a small one. And then I go up to the next size. And if you didn't see before, I'll have to bend it and show you. I kind of went in diagonal. Like the diagonal holes, there's four. So I'm going to go diagonal holes. So that way your button sits straight on the wire. It doesn't sit off to one side. So see there's two. Get it all the way up there. So I got two. And let's see, let me find, and, and like I said, you could do all pink or all white or yellow. I'm just like it to be colorful because I'm going to put all these in this little um, salt shaker base that I'm making. i got to turn it so it'll dry like that. So there's another one. Uh-oh, I got it twisted. Okay. 
just push it on up there. See, it's going to stay because you got your wire looped through that first button. So there's three. And let's see. It's, hard, it's just hard making decisions on picking out what color to do. There's so many colors. Same thing, just threading them on there like that. And I was saying earlier, you could cut out out of paper or even out of out of felt. You could cut out a little flower shape and push it on last and you would have petals. Um, there's just so many ways this can be done. So let's see, do we want orange? Just all the colors, it's hard to decide and find the right size that I'm looking for. You have a disaster going on. I have a disaster. My son said I have a disaster going on. You gonna show him your face? Yeah, I will do that. You're doing something. Oh, yeah, I'm doing something. Y'all get to see my oldest son. He's a comedian. I hope so, Carol. I made some earlier, and they turned out really cute because I was trying to make sure I could perfect it before I got on here and showed y'all. But I just like all the colors. But if you did one color, pink, all pink or all blue, or it would be really cute too. So let me finish this one, and we're going to go on to the next flower. Okay. So see, I have this little stack thing. And I know they don't look like much, but we're going to, um, when we put them all together in this little vase, <laughs> it's going to look really cute, I promise. Okay. So then I got, there's my wire, and my buttons are all on there, okay? So then I'm just going to twist it. Just like that. So I twisted it so they'll stay on there and they're not going to slide off. And then I'm just going to pull it back together. Just like that. But you can put on there as many as you want to. Um, whatever your heart desires, just put them on there. So I have, we have this one I made a little bit ago. And then we have that one. So now I'm going to show you all a different flower um, with buttons. And you can mix them all up in the same little uh, bouquet. And that would be really cute. And that's what we're going to do. So I've got some felt. I don't throw away scraps. This is a piece of scrap felt. So we're going to cut out a circle. And don't worry if you can't cut a circle, because I can't either. I promise it's going to look like a some kind of shape, but not really a circle. But I'm going to attempt to make a circle. <laughs> you want to try? He's over here laughing at me, my son, because I can't cut a circle. Well, you want to try? Why don't, you, why, don't I, why don't you get a button and outline it with a sharp end cut around it? That's too much trouble. We ain't got time for all that. You should have pre-did that. <laughs> He's funny. He's a comedian. Okay, so here is my little circle. Just see, it's not even perfect. It's just like an outline of a circle. So let me move over here. Now, you could do this part um, with all different buttons if you wanted to. I have a little pile over here that I've made that are all kind of, um, hey, Patty, they're all the same, okay? So, and this is going to require hot glue. Of course, I can't do anything without hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to use these yellow ones, and all, I'm going to use um, one, two, three, four, five. Five yellow ones, okay? They're all the same button, just like that, okay? Give me that glue gun. He took my glue gun away from me. Okay. So we got our little circle. I'm hoping that y'all can see. I'm going to get it out here y'all can see. Um, my fan don't blow it away. And I'm going to take my button and I'm just going to put a dot. And literally a dot of glue on my button. And I'm just going to kind of stick it to the edge. And I'll hold it up and show it to you. If it doesn't stick to me. Just like that. So this is the, the felt's just kind of going to be your base, like your back of your, to hold it all together. So I just glued it on like that, okay, to the edge. Whoop. And now I'm just going to do the same, I got glue on my fingers. <laughs> I'm going to do the same with all five of these, and the glue's dripping. And I'm just going to put it right next to the one I just did. And you just kind of go around your little circle. But I want the buttons to kind of be touching. Does that make sense? You'll see when I show it, hold it. Hey, Penny. Okay. So, let me get around here. One more. And then y'all are now wondering how I'm going to get these on the wire. I'm going to show you. Okay. Uh-oh. Sticking to me. And this isn't 
perfect, guys. I don't think you have to be perfect, okay? So here's what we got now, okay? So you got your felt on the back that's holding all of them together, just like that, okay? So then I'm gonna pick out a pretty color to put in the middle. Let's put, and then we're gonna glue one right in the center. Let's see. That's the fun part is getting to pick out all the colors. Because you, you can just do so many different variations um, of every, you know, just different colors and mix them all up. But you'd have to do these if you did them with your grandkids. You'd have to do the, you'd have to do the uh, hot glue part. But the other ones don't require any glue. So, so there's, we have, there we have a flower. And I got hot glue everywhere. Isn't that just cute? It's so stinking cute. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we got the flower made. So I'm going to take one of these stems like we did earlier. We painted them green with the baby wipe and just wiped it off. And I'm going to fold it in half, okay, just like we did before. And then at the very top, I'm just going to do it like this. I'm just going to kind of bend it over so we can make a little, um, a little platform for our flower to sit on and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on the back of the flower and I'm going to put my wire right down in the glue and I'm just going to let it sit there just a minute so it'll set up thank you I know it's cute isn't it love turquoise anything I know don't you love my scissors if y'all didn't see my scissors look at my scissors they're awesome like they turned out so stinking cute Yes, Susan, absolutely. You could do this with your any kids or your nieces, nephews, grandkids, you know, Bible school, um, whatever. Hopefully, they're going to get to have Bible school this year. And you could definitely do these because these are no glue, nothing. It's just the wire. You could use pipe cleaners. You could do, you know, you don't have to have the floral wire. You can do pipe cleaners. Do green. You could do all color pipe cleaners. It would still be, it would be really cute with the colors. I'm hoping my glue is going to set up and hold this on. It did earlier, so we're going to see. Thank you, Cherise. Thank you, Donna. Okay, so now there's our little flower on our stem. And then you can bend it to kind of, you know, bend over like that. Isn't that cute? See, it's just glued on the back. Y'all can see the back. It's just glued on there. I, oh, the glue strings are driving me nuts. I got to put them in the, fr in the freezer and see if that works. How cute is that? And just think of all the colors that you can do and make this with, okay? So I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to put another coat because this is dry. I'm going to put another coat on our little vase. Look how pretty that pink is. You need to do some more now of these. Okay, I am. Mr. Mr. Colin over here is trying to tell me how to, how to run the show over here. Are you going to be my production manager? Yeah. It's going to be my production manager. Doesn't pay much. <laughs> I, I, can, I can be your chat moderator. It doesn't pay. You be my chat moderator. You can. You can answer people's questions. <laughs> he's been crafting a long time too because he's been, I've been crafting way before he came along and I crafted with them and when they were kids, when they were little. Okay, another coat on it. Just going to set it over here. So it can be drying. So I'm gonna make that. Yes, what I've heard too, Karen, about the hair dryer. <laughs> I need to do that. Kelly, he's the executive producer. Kelly said he's the new executive producer. You're the CEO. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna. I'll show y'all that one more time, and we'll do a different color flower. Thank you, Nancy. So like I said, there's my scrap of felt, and you could use any color felt. I just grabbed green, just just because it's green. Whatever color you wanted to use that you have on hand will be fine. Um, you could use bottle caps. All kinds of stuff. Just start looking around and thinking all the things you could use. So there's my circle. I just freehanded it. I just kind of eyeballed it. I'm an eyeballer. Okay. So let's do... I don't know if you can afford my services as an executive producer. I can't afford your services. <laughs> Carrying thought... you in my body for nine months and taking care of you for however many years... Um, that's that's payment. I charge. I charge. So I'm just putting hot glue guys on my button, 
and I'm just kind of sticking it to the outside of my little felt circle. Hey, Kimberly. Thank you, Nancy. I think it's adorable, too. You know, it's the simple things in life. It doesn't have to be all fancy. It can just be simple. And like I said, kids would absolutely love this. They, they would do this, and you could, um, not necessarily the hot glue, but if you have older kids, you could do the low temp glue gun absolutely and watch them. And, you know, they have to learn somehow. But, you know, the younger kids could do the other ones for sure. And I didn't, I made this circle kind of big. So it's going to take more than five this time. Howdy, Nancy. How are you? <laughs> I have fans too. You have fans too? And they've never even oh, seen you. They've never even seen you. Okay. I gotta make sure my hair looks all He's right. my oldest. I have, um, he's 22, he's 23 in a few months, and then I have a 14-year-old who just turned 14. Okay, we're out to have a birthday cake tonight. So there's my felt circle, okay? And then there are all the little buttons. I used six this time because I cut my little felt circle a little bigger, and then um, I didn't glue them as far in. So I'm gonna have to put a big one in the middle. So let's see, what's that one look? That's pink. So let's do, it's just so fun picking out the colors to me. That's that's the fun part, to make it look all cute. That one's not big enough. Y'all gotta get some Dollar Tree buttons. <laughs> Carol said I need a mic like Bill. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, we can fix you up. Okay. Look at all these people saying hey to me. Look, I'm famous and I don't You're even know it You're famous and you don't even know these people. That's right, see? Okay. Cherie said... Don't let his head swell up, guys. I promise. <laughs> Cherie said, tell him, tell him, Mama. Call him, be nice. Mama has lots of friends on here. That's right. Look, yeah. I'm a part of the community, too. I claim I know, it just right? as much as y'all do. He always watches me, guys. He supports me, and it blesses this mama's heart that he gets on there and watches me, and he tells his friends, and his friends will share it, and I'll, I said that word. They'll sprinkle it, and it just blesses my heart because, you know, some of his friends, I felt like I raised them, too. All right, so I glued that big one in the middle. I did a turquoise button in the middle. See, it's on the felt on the back. And you don't have to use felt. You could use cardstock. You could use anything like that. Little wood circles, whatever you have. Just get to looking around and kind of, um, I'm just giving you an idea and an inspiration how to do stuff. So just be thinking outside the box. But see, so there's that one. So I'm gonna get one of my green wires that I've colored green, but if you have floral wire or pipe cleaner, it's going to work just the same. What are they saying? Nancy says, Lee, Lee is the button collection as massive as the florals. Yes. Y'all have no idea. She's got a whole other jar sitting up here full. Where? Right there. They saw it already, the brown ones. Uh, they, they already saw the brown ones but you before you came in here. You can't, you can't see how big that is. But this is not hoarding. Okay, so I just took my wire. I bent it, you know, bent it in half. And then I just bent the end over just like that because we're making a little platform. <laughs> Look, I said I'm in a drum roll now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. Y'all are cracking me up. He's got to get wheel over here in a second. Okay, so there's my flower. My felt back. This chair ain't got no wheels. And then, well, no, mine does. So I had to wheel out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to put a dot of hot glue here. He's trying to interrupt the crafting is what he's doing, guys. I'm just adding another aspect to your string. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and hold it while it sets up. Have a Lee and Colin show. Yes. And see, her name's Lee Ann, too. We, get over here I while this glue's drying so they can see you. I know. My I'm, handsome I'm son. I've, I've, I've been here long enough. <laughs> You've been on there commenting long enough. You can sit right there and get your head up in here. Y'all, here he comes. Howdy, folks. <laughs> How are y'all? My, my handsome son. He's graduated from college. Who's not having a graduation? <laughs> well, it's in August. But he is going to be... Yes, that's my son. That's my oldest. I have a 14-year-old, too, but he wouldn't dare. He got... I did a kid's craft one day, and he, he got on there and kind of showed his face, and that was it, because he's like, mm-mm. Uh, Colin needs to make one? Oh, don't Needs to make one. what? Hey, flowers? he can do it, Carol. I promise you, he can make a flower, because... He's been crafting, well, both of my kids have been crafting since we were, they were born. I'm a seasoned veteran. He is a seasoned veteran. Okay. So I just put the hot glue on the back, and then I bent my wire over, and then there is my flower. See? 
Look, everybody's saying hello. Hey, guys. How are y'all? <laughs> I'm sorry I look like a rag muffin right now. We're all in quarantine. I haven't had a haircut since the beginning of March. True story. Okay. So, there's the other flower. So, now we have this one. And we have that one. And then we have this kind. Thank you, Kathy. I know I'm handsome. He, and this kind, okay? So, see, we're going to put all these together and do them like this. And they're going to be so stinking cute, okay? But I think I need to do one more. And I'm going to do, I need some blue in there. So, let's do some blue. So, for people just hopping on that didn't see, I'm going to show you again. Um, yeah, Colin needs to make one. He can, though. He can, he can, um, Look do at some all my stuff. fans commenting. They love me more than they love you. I told y'all his head's going to swell <laughs> up. Okay. So here is my little circle, which is not even a circle. See, guys, I can't even cut a circle. Look at that. It looks like an octagon or something. I'm going to say a hexagon. Look at those numbers, guys. Okay. So look at this. Cheryl said, look at those numbers since you got on. You're a natural. That's what I'm saying. You might. Oh. He does live streaming and stuff for his church, too. So, I do. Um, so there is, uh, the green so we're gonna do a blue one so i'll have this pretty color blue all right so guys i got my circle i'm gonna put a little dot of glue on and just gonna put it around Woo! this glue strings it takes my whole project away okay turn my salt shaker son there we go hey memo is memo on there yeah <laughs> okay so we're going to have another channel called Crafting with Colin. Crafting and Comedy with Colin. That's there might not be much crafting going on. <laughs> well, you can just... I'll just craft and you talk. Thank you, Kim. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. We were just really devastated because he wasn't getting to have a ceremony, but he will in August. Hopefully, he'll get to come back from his job. Okay, so here's my circle that I've started gluing them around the edge just like that. And I'm just sticking them on. All right, this is crowded over here, guys. He's like crowding my space. Graham, I ain't. I'm not letting this woman touch my hair with a pair of scissors. You should see her on this felt over here. Yeah, his hair looked like this felt. I could have squeezed one in. Ooh, the strings are killing me. Okay, so here's this one, and you're gonna be able to see the green. Oh, in the on the edges, trim that up a little bit. Some Chinese pajamas. Oh, Bill, yeah, <laughs> Bill. Carol bought Bill some Chinese pajamas, <laughs> and they were supposed to be a B outfit. They were three sizes too small. It was hilarious. I have to find the video for you. Okay, so here is my circle, and see, look, I'm not perfect. Look at the back. That's all wop sided and everything else. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's the front. So now, what color do I need to put in the middle? I think I need to put a pretty hot pink in the middle. Thank y'all guys for getting on here tonight and watching because this is fun. I'm a, I'd am i be in here anyway doing this and I love spending it with all of you and my son who is now, now they his head to... swelling up over here. I can't even fit in the room. Now they're going. <laughs> it's on my Chinese pajamas. Oh, oh gosh. Now, okay, now so I'll put that pretty hot pink in the middle. Isn't that pretty? See? Yeah, it was hilarious in the pajama, Sylvia. It was so funny. Okay, so there's my back. So see, it's not perfect. And then there's my front. Okay? So I'm going to take my wire again, and I'm going to double it up and pull it tight at the top like that. And then I'm just going to bend it. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of my, my little felt pad. Like that. And I'm going to have to sit here and hold. Woo, my wires are all wild, okay? I'm going to stick my wire. And I'm going to sit here and hold it just so it'll set up. I have to make the doorway bigger. Yeah, for him to get out with his head. So. I ain't got much room to spare here. Yeah, we're like... Cramped in this little bitty space now. Oh, thank you, Graham. He he's funny. He's uh he's uh a mess. A mess. All you right. got that right, sister. Okay. So there, maybe it won't fall off. So there's my other flower. So I got blue and I got orange and I got yellow. Orange and yellow look kind of the same on the camera. Okay. 
And then I have these kinds. So see, we're going to mix them all in. This is just going to be cute, cute, cute. But I want to show y'all another style flower. Um, oh, my buttons are going under my mask. I don't know what my major was. Miss Holly, I am a uh, construction engineering technology major. Yep. He's going to go to Dallas, Texas, and he knows no one, no one. Yep. I'll but be a field engineer. He is going to be just fine. Okay. So, I'm going to show y'all one other kind, and you can, you know, do this or not do it or whatever. These are paper clips from the Dollar Tree, okay? And look, I got tickled because look what it says on here. <laughs> it says, it's backwards, but it says paper clips, and I guess the Spanish word is trombones. I never knew that paper clips in Spanish or whatever is trombones. I mean, they kind of never. look like, like a trombone. They do, but I didn't know that's what they were called. Okay, so they, these are all colored. I know y'all probably seen colored paper clips everywhere. You can get them at Walmart, and they have other, um, you know, these are these are the small ones. They're a little little bitty, okay? So I'm going to, let's see, what color are we going to do? All right, let's do this pretty purple button. And then this kind of gets tedious too, so no, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper clip. Watch out, you can get uh, burned. I'm locking everybody's comments. Okay, so I'm going to put a dot. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on the edge of my, on the button. And then I'm going to put my paper clip. And I'm going to sit here and hold it just a minute. Yeah, I hope he doesn't have a problem making friends. He he's not going to. He's likable and lovable and just all around a good kid. Okay. And then I'm just going to see I got this paper clip glued to this button. Okay. And then I'm just going to keep going around and putting another one there. I'm just going to keep making little petals. Yeah, it's hot. I've been to Dallas once. It ain't and, um, as hot as Mississippi. Mississippi's hot. Because you got humidity that makes it feel like it's 10 times, well, I wouldn't say 10, 10, 10 degrees hotter than it really is in Mississippi. Whew, you just walk outside right. and you start melting down. Okay. Uh-oh. These glue gun strings are just about to get on my last nerve. i got to put them in the freezer. Somebody told me to put them in the freezer. Oh, thank you, Miss Nancy. Let's see. All right, so I'm just basically putting dots a glue around it. Woo! Y'all see that? The glue strings are taking my project away. Ouch! And that's sticking to me. See all the glue strings? They can't see the glue strings, but... I can. Woo! Girl, you got a mess. Be quiet. <laughs> Tell me I got a mess. Tell them it takes a mess to make something. You have to make a mess. So. All right. I'm going to hold it up in just a second and show you. Does the freezer trick? I don't know, Holly. Um, somebody told me that the other night to put my glue sticks in the freezer. and I'm going to have to try that because this is a meh, hot mess. So when you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, it's whew, got glue strings everywhere. Okay. Let me get this. Look at that hot mess. See, they can't see them. Oh, there's. I need one right there, Donna. That looks funky. Yeah, okay. you, you need something So, else. yeah, see that? Mm. But yeah, he's, I need to add a couple more because it looks odd. They, li they live in Houston. You can come hang out with them. So I'm going to put another one right there because it looks weird. Woo! You about had a catastrophe. Yeah. That glue gun. Yes, Kimberly, he is. He don't meet a stranger like me. I don't meet a stranger. I really don't. That one's bent. But these have got blue, green, red, yellow, and white. So you can make daisies. You can make um, whatever color flowers you want with um, with the paper clips. I just thought this was a cute little uh, idea with the paper clips. This is something you might have in the house is paper clips and buttons. All right. Let that set up. Now I need to add one other. See, when I keep adding them, and then it starts, I have to add one <laughs> to the other side. Well, uh, Okay. You Getting should, the you glue. You should have. Be quiet. He's making fun of my craft, y'all. Look, see, it's not symmetrical, but you know, you get the idea. Well, just add some more. Well, I keep adding, and then it still, then it looks like I need to add on the other side. Well, just add them in the corner in the cracks. Look. Look, what do you got my tool for? It's my point. 
<laughs> it's my pointer. He's just pointing put, with my tongue. Just put them in the cracks. And even like them out. here? Yeah. It'll look better. He's on my cord. Well, I'm sorry. You're He's on my glue gun cord, y'all. You're the one that wanted me to come in here. Okay. Yes. So you can help your mother craft. Okay. See? Gosh, look at all those strings. No. Look, look how cute that is. No, man, you stay out of this now. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> But isn't that cute, guys? Look, and see, you could do the yellow ones and do colors in the middle. And I'm waiting for that to set up good. And I'm out of my green thing, so I'm not going to paint another one. But same thing goes with this. This button has holes in the center. So you're just going to do the same thing. You can just um, stick it through there. And then I'm going to loop it down and go across to the corner. Um corner one and I'm gonna have a, the same the same thing as I did on the other buttons okay so see I didn't paint this one green so it's gonna be white but it'll be okay and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna twist it where it doesn't wiggle around and go anywhere but that I have Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks and guys let me tell you it's worth the $7.97 at Walmart because they aren't going anywhere I watch one fall off. You got some people asking you what you're making. I'm making flowers out of buttons. See? And then we made these. Okay? So there's this one. Got it on its little stem. It's on the button. Isn't it cute? Okay. So now I'm going to move my trombones out of the way. They're, paper clips are called trombones in Spanish, in case you didn't know. I think that's hilarious. Okay. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan in Canada. Canada. That's nice. Windy. Okay, so here's my little vase that I painted with the Waverly White chalk paint, and I mixed a little fuchsia in with it and got this real pretty pink color. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to put the lid back on? Let me one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six flowers. Okay, so I am going to... I'm going to add some little curly cues in here and see if that adds a little something to it. Where is my clippers? Okay, so I'm going to take some more floral wire. And this is totally, you don't have to do this part. I have this little wire curler thing that I've had for years and years and years when I used to make bracelets. And it's, it's mm. made for curling wire. It's got like a little slit in it. And you can do this with a pencil. Doesn't matter what you use. It's just, this, it's the same point. It just, it just gets the job done a lot faster. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Miss Tracy. Hey, Rachel from Athens, Texas. Texas in the house. So I'm just rolling it around this little tool. But like I said, you could use a pencil, a magic marker. Doesn't matter. I'm running out of space. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So I'll, that's all I'm doing there. And then it just slides right off. And then... <laughs> what are you doing? Newman, he says his run playlist tonight is Lee and Colin. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So I'm just kind of pulling it out. I'm just making a little curly cue so I can stick. Uh, Rochelle, this is uh, floral stem wire from Hobby Lobby. I couldn't find my green, so I got this. I have white that I make these little. I make these little fairy dolls with the white, and so um, I painted all of these green. I just put a green acrylic paint, and I don't have any more green ones. I've used them all on my flowers, and oh, that's the one I did earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And so I'm just making little curly cues that I can stick um, in my little arrangement. Where's my cutter? So I'm just going to cut that in half because it's pretty long. My cutters are so dull. I've only had them forever. Y'all still hanging in there with us, guys. What do y'all got going on tonight? Since y'all are watching us. Hey, D-Lo, how are you? Okay. So we got our flowers. And the curly cues are sticking to everything. Okay. So I'm trying to decide. So you could do this two ways. Um, you could just stick your flowers in here, and that's fine, like a little base. And or you could put the top on and put it through the holes. And I don't know if that's going to fit through those holes or not. Oh, it does. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna dress this up just a little bit. I'm gonna get some lace, and I'm just gonna kind of put some lace. Just a little something, something. A little something, something. Just gonna cut some lace and tie a little. Make a bow. That's what the, that's what the, the chat wants to see. No, the chat does not want to see a bow because they know. They want to see you make a bow. Um, 
Um, no, they don't want to see me make a bow because they know it's terrible. But I'm fisting a try. I cut no, it short. You, you, I was just checking with you. You gotta make a bow. Okay. I'm just going to basically tighten a knot like that. Get it all, let me get it all fixed. Okay. Let it lay the way it's supposed to. Okay. And you can do whatever you want to to the top. I have a, where's my yellow one? There it is. I had this little yellow one over here in case my paint didn't dry in time that I did. It's the same thing. And I just wrapped um, jute around the top. You could do the same thing with this. Or you could put lace on it. You could put little scrapbook flowers. You could pretty much do whatever your heart desires. Like I said, this would be great for kids to do for their for Mother's Day. They could do this for Mother's Day or for their grandmother. See, look, it just gives it a little something, something. And um, there's that. So you can either put the top of the salt shaker on it or not. So I'm going to try it with the salt shaker top just to see. Because then you kind of go, oh, that's a salt shaker. So I'm going to screw that back on. I don't have my paint thick enough to where it won't screw on. And then I am going to just basically, I don't know if both of those are going to go in there. They are. So i got to see if i got to cut some off. I think i got to cut some off. I think I grabbed the dullest pair of these in the thing. Maybe these will be better. Oh, yeah. I'm cooking the grease now. Okay. So, I'm just going to take these. Now it needs a button. A little stink bug. I can make a stink bug look cute. Well, thank you. Now it needs a button. What? Now they won't go in the hole. Donna says now it needs a button. Oh, it needs a button on it? It does, don't it, Donna? Hold on. You are so right. Oh, my gosh. How could I not have thought to stick a button on it? Let's put a green button on it. Green? Yeah, I kind of like that. Or not pink. Green? What do I want to do with it? Green. Then we had to go back to his actual playlist. He ran out of service. <laughs> okay. So I'm just sticking a button on my bow, guys. I don't even know why I didn't think of that. Thank you, Donna. Look at there. See? Got a button on there. So now I am going to take the lid off because my double wires won't go down in the holes. So that's okay. So I like we're going to do. Without the lid. You like it better without the lid? Okay. So, there's my, um, the blue one. Let's see how long I need to make it. I'll make it taller. So, I'm just, did you see that fly across there? <laughs> I'm going to put his eye out. I'm going to die okay. to a ricochet. Okay, so I just, you know, I'm just kind of holding it up and seeing how tall I want it to be. Because I don't want them to be all the same length. It's kind of like arranging flowers. So, watch out. <laughs> that thing shot over there and hit the wall, guys. I'm about to have to duck and take cover. <laughs> okay. The, uh, <laughs> the emergency room story to tell. What were y'all doing? Well, we were on live on Facebook and um, Mama was cutting wire and it went in my eye. Like projectiles. Projectile. Okay. So let's see. I don't want it that tall. So just kind of measuring. See how tall I want. All right. There's that. Oh, no, those are kind of tall. Get it down just a little bit. You can always cut more off. A button on the lace. Yeah, I don't even know why I didn't think of that. Thank you, Donna, for telling me to do that. Because, I mean, we're playing with buttons. I might as well. You're right, Graham. I do need a face shield. I got safety glasses out in the truck. It's not that bad. That first one liked to have killed somebody. It did. It went shooting over there. It probably made a mark on the wall. Okay. So let's see if I can get it all arranged. Here, I made this one earlier. I'm just going to stick it in there too. Just to add some more. I think I need to cut them down. I appreciate y'all being on here. Thank you, Kathy. And hanging out with us tonight. Um, just... Just do a little crafting. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to put these in here, but they're not going to be, it's not tall enough. But y'all get the point. But you could put something down in there. Let's see. Give me something. Give me this paper towel. <laughs> Somebody, Nancy said four. Like golf. Oh, yeah. Four. I'm just going to take a piece of paper, guys. Toilet, toilet, uh, paper towel. Toilet paper. Paper towels, and I'm just going to kind of poke it down in there because you can't see it. So maybe my flowers will stand up a little better. Or you could use um, moss, 
so they're not all jiggling around in the little vase. I'm gonna get them in there now. Okay. And you can bend them whichever way you want to, like that. But yeah, grandkids could do this for their grandmothers or their mom or, you know, whoever. This would be so cute for Mother's Day. That length looks good. I think so too, Bobby. Okay. Just sticking them in there like I'm arranging flowers at the florist. Should I put my paper clip one in there too? Which one? The pink one? The pink one with the... Where'd it go? Oh, oh it's in my it? hand. It's in my hand and I'm sitting here asking about it. You're going crazy. I'm going crazy. This quarantine's killing me. I need to go to Hobby Lobby. That's what's wrong with me. And I didn't go today. Wrap the coily wire around the flower stem. Okay. Which one? I don't know. I'm just reading the comments. I might just stick them in there like that. Right. I should have left it long. I shouldn't have even have... I shouldn't have even cut it. But I did. <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to do this little thing again. Woo! This thing's long. I'm just wrapping around. Like I said, you can wrap it around a pencil or whatever you wanted to do. I'll leave it like that. And slide it off. Oops. I'm going to knock everything, y'all. What's fun is cleaning up all this stuff after I get done doing a live. That's the fun part. Because there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> so just imagine that these were green. Because <laughs> I'll go back and I'll paint them green. That's too long. Just have you some little curly cues sticking out. Take me to Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Linda. Linda, take me to Hobby Lobby. I should have went today and I didn't do it. Because my babies were coming and I needed to come home. So I'm just wrapping it around. Like I said, use a pencil, magic marker, ink pen, something like that. You could do the same thing. This is just kind of give it a little, um, little whimsical look to it. I didn't say something, 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 something. Thank you, Kimberly. Just kind of gives it a little bit of texture in there. So there is our little flowers, guys. Look how stinking cute that is. Isn't that cute? I think it is. It's simple, but it's cute. It's just different. And like I said, you could cut felt or paper little flowers and put as the backing of these button ones and have like little petals and that would be the center of the flower. You could do that too. What is the tool you're using to make the curly thing? It is, it is a wire curler. I've had it forever. Um, I don't even know where I got it. It looks kind of homemade. That thing's to be probably older than me. It's got wood glue on the top of it. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a it's like a little slit in it, and you put your wire in it, and then you just wrap. But it's the same thing as using um, a pencil or something. But I have um, I've had this since I was making bracelets and stuff like 20 years ago. He's 22, so it was before that. So I've had it forever. So there's our little flowers with our little. Salt shaker, but like I said, you could also use a flower pot. You could put them in the flower pot, and that would be cute. And your kids could paint the flower pot. Um, medicine bottles, you could use that too, and paint that up, and put some stuff around the top, and it would just be is just as cute. So don't throw those away. You could use those. But there's all kinds of things you could use that you throw away every day that you normally would wouldn't keep. But that is too cute. Like this would be so adorable for um, kids for Mother's Day, for grandmothers for Mother's Day. That would be just really, really cute. So I appreciate y'all getting on here tonight. Look, Na Nancy What's said. What's Nancy saying? Nancy says she. This has been. This has been any late night comedy on TV by a hundred miles. Well, thank you. This Nancy. has been a hilarious live. Well, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Y'all please sprinkle with your friends. I'm it's down. up there above my head. Y'all sprinkle and. Um, some people might want to come on here and see what I do and help them find me. And that helps my page. And so, yeah, he's hanging out with his mom on Friday night. He don't mind doing that at all. So, there it is, guys. I'll post a picture in a little bit and y'all can see it up close. And I appreciate y'all getting on here and hanging out with us. And um, hope maybe we'll come live tomorrow night and do something else. So, um, I got some more stuff up my sleeve. I don't think I ever run out of ideas. So... Um, so yeah, thank y'all for welcoming my son and all the good stuff and being nice to him. And thank you, Donna. Thank y'all for sprinkling. I love the hearts. Thank you. And y'all have a good evening and y'all stay safe. And I'll probably see y'all tomorrow night. I hope so. And we'll see y'all then. Okay. See y'all. Bye. Thank you guys.